It said $35 and they put a great deal. And so I looked it up and it was comping out for about a hundred bucks. Hey, welcome back everybody. Uh, today is gonna be a haul video. Um, went to a few estate sales today and I wanna show you what I got in each of them and also explain kind of my thinking about uh, why I chose the item that I chose, how much I paid for it, and, um, and I might post some things on uh, on the video about how much it actually seems to be comping for on eBay. Uh, so the first place I stopped at was uh, actually it was a uh, an estate sale. I'd been there a few weeks earlier, and uh, it was run by a local um, uh, liquidation company, estate company, and uh, prices were kind of high. I picked up a few items at that time. When I went back today, this was, I found it on uh, uh, the yard sale app, um, and it was run by the family, so they were trying to finish up, and there was a lot of the same stuff that was there when I, I first went the, uh, to the estate sale. Um, and their approach today was pretty much make an offer, and uh, they just needed stuff to move. So what I got, uh, these items uh, I paid a total of $5 for, I really kind of struggled to find uh, things that I would be able to use for resale. Um, so anyway, this is what I got. Uh, first item is kind of this lot of slides. Um, they appear to be, so I think they were originally asking $3 uh, from the estate sale, uh, but they appear to be just different um, professionally done, uh, maybe souvenir slides. So hoping to maybe sell this as a lot. Um, not really sure what the comp that would be. Um, I found this portable uh, vintage Scrabble game. Um, I actually got one of these before, and I originally was I, I don't I wasn't really sh buying this for resale. Um, I was just buying it in case I needed extra tiles. Um, that's the game board. It's super super thin. Um, not sure if this is going to make it onto uh, eBay or not, but that was just something I was, I was just searching to kind of find something. Um, <clears throat> so I took, <coughs> I had a, a fair amount of money with me, but in terms of small bills, I only had a $1 bill and a $5 bill. And so I didn't want to pay a dollar even for this, or certainly not $5. So I was trying to figure out how could I get some stuff to get me over that $5 mark? Um, I found a bunch of ink. Uh, not really sure. I didn't comp this while I was there. There's a bunch of these um, uh, cartridges in there, so sealed. I figure um, should be able to make our money back on that, but I haven't looked at the expiration uh, date or what it's compatible with. So this could be where we get the money back um, if we even stand a chance to get our money back from this particular stop. Um, then I also found this digitizer. It's a bamboo, uh, it's called Bamboo Fun. It's a digitizer for your PC. It comes with the software also, but it's missing the, the stylus. Um, so I'm not really sure what this is worth, if anything. I didn't comp it, they threw it in for free, so I felt like uh, I should at least take that with me. So that was the, the $5 haul at the first estate sale. Uh, so then I went to another estate sale, and uh, it basically it was a moving sale, everything must go. <coughs> and so I came back with all of the following items for, uh, I think the tag, Tag price would have been 47. Uh, I offered 40 and they accepted 40. Um, so the first item is this uh, cycling jersey. It is a local Seattle, um, Seattle hospital, Seattle Children's Hospital. And I bought this because uh, they were asking for $4. Um, but it was new with tags. So I'm guessing this will probably sell between $20 and $30. Um, so I felt like that was definitely a, something to take for $4. And again, I negotiated uh, down for the lot. The next, uh, this is a Foot Joy 
uh, polo shirt, golf shirt. Um, it does have an embroidered um, golf course on the sleeve there. It's in good condition. I checked it out. Um, these things sell pretty well. They probably will go for about $25. Um, they were asking two on that. Then as I was browsing around, I found this, uh, this bundle of water filters. And it says new. I did not comp it before I bought it. Um, so as you can see, I got these uh, listed for $4 for the three of them. I have sold um, filters before online. They go pretty well. Uh, I, I assume that I'm going to be able to get my money back, except uh, if these are really old refrigerators. Uh, so I'm not sure if this is kind of a modern thing. This style of filter is not something I'm used to seeing. Uh, but $4 uh, list price on these, brand new unused. Um, and then I got two cans of this ice cream starter. You can see here that they were asking for a dollar each on these. I did confirm, I took the top off to find that it was still fully sealed. I've never sold food before on eBay. Um, not sure if I will do it with this or not, but uh, the reason why I got these is because the next item is a little bit heavy and big, so, uh, but, so, this Cuisinart, uh, so I'll leave it there for a moment. You can see it's 30, they were asking $35 new. I did open it, the pack, it's, all the packing is still original. Uh, so when I first opened it up, had the packaging there in, in plastic. I'm not gonna take everything out. The next thing I found was this. Everything seemed to be in plastic, so I think um, as they were advertising this is new, I believe that it is new. I did a very, very quick um, look up on eBay when I was there to see, you know, because it, it does say, it said $35 and they put a great deal. And so I looked it up and it was comping out for about a hundred bucks, uh, 80 to a hundred bucks. So I thought, Pretty decent haul. So that was $40 for all that that we just saw in the second stop. I made one more stop today and uh, really didn't pick up much. Uh, at this stop, they had um, some vintage uh, 1960s typewriters. So the manual typewriters, they had one that was a Royal, uh, made by Royal. Uh, it had a really cool tomato red kind of uh, color to it. Um, the second item that I saw was an Olympia typewriter. I'm not a typewriter guy, so I comped it out. Um, the, they looked like they were selling for about $50 each with like $65 or $70 for shipping. And, <coughs> excuse me, I just did not want to mess with, um, with that. So, excuse me. Um, so instead what I found, I don't know if this is complete. But it was kind of cool because it looks like it was vintage. Uh, I've never seen a metal uh, model kit before. Um, it says Duesenberg, so I, I've heard of a Duesenberg. Um, but when I opened it up, you know, I have not checked for all the parts. <clears throat> Here, I'll do it this way. <coughs> it's kind of cool. It's got. It, it actually is metal there are some plastic pieces as well i do think it's complete i'll do an inventory but um kind of a cool 1 18th scale metal uh car model so i got it was not priced uh i asked the lady what they were asking for and she said i don't know what would you offer uh i said five bucks and she said i'll take it i've not comped this out yet uh Maybe I will comp it out and be able to put the, uh, the details on the screen here uh, for us. But um, I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, I did pass on the typewriters, as I said, just too much hassle. But I did find also these, uh, these bank bags, these cash bags. So it's got a, a lock, a zipper, kind of a canvas, nylon bag, leather corner. Uh, and I thought these were kind of curious. Um, I thought I might be able to use this myself uh, or 
you know, it just has a little bit of novelty about it. Um, oh, there's some interesting. So there's a label. Um, so I, when I was talking to the guy about the typewriters, and he said, I don't know what the price of the typewriters would be. What do you think it would be? And I, I shared um, what I found and uh, decided to pass. I said, I am interested in, in the money bag. Um, and he said, yeah, I'll, you can have it for free. And so when I went in, uh, I was talking to his wife. Um, there's actually two, as you see here. I, t I told her, I said, your husband said that I could have one of these for free. Um, there are two here. Do you mind if I... Uh, get both of them, I'll, I'll give you a dollar. So um, these were 50 cents each. I did not uh, comp it while I was there, but I did comp it when I left. So uh, between the model car and the two bags, I spent $6 at that sale. Um, so as I was in the car and I was comping out the bag, uh, looks like these things are kind of collectible. They go from 20, about $25 um, each. So, uh, it could turn out to be quite a nice flip. So that's what I've got. Uh, it's my first uh, haul video. Um, so I hope you liked it. I don't do a whole lot of this at this time because mostly I just, I go to, I go th thrift shopping at Value Village is the, the local one here. I go to Goodwill as well. Um, and I just get a ton of clothing. But these things are kind of all different and unique. So I felt like it might be worth uh, checking out. And uh, so hopefully if you liked it, let me know. If you'd rather see some other content, let me know about that. I do appreciate your support. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you on the next video.